Hi friends, welcome back to another build challenge in The Sims 4. My name is Sid and we are building Bloomcrest. This is a new crest rebuild where every lot increases in price. I'm gonna link the playlist down below so you can learn more about the backstory and the lore of Bloomcrest here. But today we're gonna be building our 750k home. And I did give our little family a makeover finally. Look how cute they look. Anna rocking her adult now outfit. I aged them up into adults. Theo also rocking a little bit more of a mature look. Our twins, I aged up our little babies into children because I find it more fun to build for children in The Sims 4 than toddlers. So I aged them all the way up to kids. This is Violet and Ash. I named them from you guys in the comment section. And through this build, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about them, but also from popular demand, look at this little baby. We got a dog. <laughs> He's so small, I can't even zoom in on him, but that is going to be Alf after alfalfa. I saw that name in the comments too. I freaking cannot with puppies in The Sims 4. They're so small and cute. Anyway, I screamed over that for like 20 minutes off camera, so I'm not gonna do more. Let's start to build. So let's go ahead and build our shell. In the last video, I built that lot next door. It's like an outdoor market slash park. It's owned by this really rich girl. They sell craftable items. They sell like really expensive paintings, flower arrangements and stuff like that. So that's gonna be a problem for our family here because throughout this entire like series, we have made our money by selling items, selling craftables, and painting. We were kind of like a small family business sort of thing. I'm assuming maybe they like sold to people out of town. So you can see how a big expensive market coming in would kind of cause issues for this family. So in this video, I'm thinking we're gonna change it up a little bit. We're gonna see some different styles coming in. In the past, we've been doing some industrial builds. We've been doing some cottage core kind of aesthetics, but I'm kind of thinking this family might be going through a little bit of a midlife crisis. I want the inside to be modern. I did see in the comments you guys were saying maybe like a modern twist could be kind of fun. So the interior I'm gonna go for modern but on the exterior when I'm doing like a whole neighborhood like we're doing right now I don't want to stray too far from like the style that we've been doing. I find it so weird when you're going through like a suburban neighborhood or like a traditional family home kind of neighborhood and you see this like ultra modern house in that neighborhood. It looks really out of place in my opinion. So for this neighborhood the exteriors are gonna be pretty similar up until like this this lot here, the million dollar home we're gonna be doing in the next episode. And then once we go over to the other neighborhood, like the final big one that we're gonna do, then we're gonna start to see more of like the modern homes coming in and the really big like pricey houses. They're gonna get expensive over there. But for now, I'm building out my roof here. I'm just gonna try and like roll with it, see what works. I know that on the inside, I'm gonna have to be spending quite a bit of money. So I'm gonna leave a lot of room on the interior. We're definitely gonna be doing a basement. We've learned from the past already that we're gonna be needing a basement in this house. And in terms of like skill rooms and things that I want to put in here, I think we're gonna be changing it up. I want to add new things for Anna and Theo, new ways for them to make money, new skills. And now we have the kid element as well. So I want to bring some of their style into this too. But first I want to get this exterior going. So let's go ahead and get some wallpaper. I'm gonna try and grab some foundation paint here. I'm gonna get some white thick trim for my roofing. Maybe for these smaller parts we can do something a little smaller. I've got some trim going on there and for our wallpaper I've been sort of envisioning something like this maybe at least for the rooftops then maybe we can get some expensive siding. I'm gonna try this one here from Outdoor Retreat which there's a rumor going around that Outdoor Retreat might be getting a pack refresh. Again strictly rumor but I am so here for it. Outdoor Retreat has some underrated items like some hidden good like hidden gems. Uncut gems. Right. So definitely down for that if they're gonna be doing that and I still feel like I need one more accent wall or something so I'm gonna try and find a brick. Let's try this brick here. I can put this on just in some like bump out maybe in the front here like that. We can bring these down like maybe these can be sort of like window bump outs. I'm gonna start to add my windows and doors. I think I'm gonna keep all of them white. I am also feeling like mosquito might look kind of good like under this front part here. I've used these corbelers from Seasons just to hold up that window part there because I had it like hanging over a little. I like 
like to do that. I don't know. I feel like it adds like a nice little detail. I think some of the cottage living windows could look cute too. Like maybe we can bring in some shutters here. These could even look good up top. We'll just have to change that color so it matches. And then I think I could get like a smaller window, maybe like the circular ones or like these ones for up top. And then as we go for like bathrooms and stuff, I'm going to be using these windows to just add like a little bit of extra like light or just providing a window where we need it. And we're going to have two doors, one here and I think one there for our balconies. I am really loving this shell so far. This might be my favorite shell that we've done in this entire series. Up top, I added these here from Cottage Living, which I feel like look really cute. I don't know. I think it adds a really nice detail. All the windows are looking cute. And then along the side, so far, this is also what we have for the back. I have this cute fence here with the vines going around. I think this is from Get Together. Really cute fence option. So this is what we're rolling with for now. So for this exterior, I think I want to focus mostly on the backyard actually. So I'm going to be moving this up quite a bit. I want to make sure I have room for a pool and things for the kids to do. I want to add like a swing set or something. So actually, I think we're going to focus mostly on the back today. So back here, I definitely want to have a pool. I think I'm going to put our pool right here, maybe bring it up a little bit this way. We'll trace around that a little bit just so that we have that area done. And I know some of the kids stuff can be like sneakily expensive. <laughs> 925 simoleons for the monkey bars, but I think the swing set is pricey, like 3,000. Yeah, let's go with this. I love doing sand pits for kids areas. I love it when they can like play in the sand. So I'm going to make that over here. And then I'm going to enclose that with some rocks. I've been doing this a lot. They're pretty pricey when they like start to add up. So I'm just going to go around some of the edges here with this, like this way, obviously still leaving them a lot of room to play. And then we could probably also put like a toy box back here. And I cannot forget about our dog. Our dog also needs a toy box. I think maybe a pathway like coming over here could be kind of cute. I'm going straight to the pricey stuff for my floor bottom too. So we're going to be using marbled walk for that. I think the key in this challenge, like last time when our budget was 500k, I was kind of getting a little bit stressed out. Like spending a lot of money in the Sims can kind of get tricky once the prices get up there. So basically anytime that we don't see that money going up is um not good. <laughs> I need the money to be going up constantly here. All right. So my landscaping is all done. I didn't want to spend too much time on the landscaping today because it's very similar to the landscaping that I've been doing. I wanted to keep it pretty cohesive that way. So we've got our like bushes in there with the multiple flower trick that I like to do. I do still need to go in with a terrain paint, which I've been sizing down and just like tracing around with this like dark brown. I love it when it adds like the shadow there. It looks really nice from like zoomed out and everything too. So I'm just going to add that in. I have this balcony there with the easel on it, which I love. And then in the back, this is what we've got going on. I've got the roofing details up there, all the vines, of course, going up the sides of this house. I brought in a picnic basket down here. And instead of our loungers that I've been using, we've got this picnic table. The kids can come out here and play with their toys from the toy box. And over on this balcony, we've got a doggy bowl, some doggy toys and a barbecue. So I absolutely love this exterior. I feel like every time we build something in this series, I'm like, oh, this is my favorite one yet. But I really do think this is my favorite one yet. Okay, let's go inside. Let's get this poor family in. They always just end up like standing here and we need to figure out some kind of floor plan. Keeping in mind, I'm going to be building a basement right off the bat. The last time we built, I think it was, what was the price? A 250k house over there. I was unsure about the basement until the end when I had like so much money left over. So I'm going to build it right into our floor plan immediately. So everything is opened up. Let's put our stairs first. I like to keep them nice and close to the door. So I'm going to do a double stair moment right there. And then I think I'm going to turn these and keep these right beside the stairs that I have. So I'm going to go in with my basement tool and I'm just going to build a rectangle like right underneath here. Then we can bring that back a little bit. I might build out like another room back here. We can pull it and adjust it depending on what's going to be down here. I don't really know what I'm going to put yet. Maybe a bathroom and like something over there and something over there. And then our stairs, I can pull these across and now we have the entire area for multiple floors. One thing I definitely want to have is a playroom. So I'm going to keep that in mind. I think I want to do like a bathroom over here or something. I could actually maybe even bring it out a little bit more than that. We could mimic the same thing on the other side and maybe do like a kitchen in the back. And then I don't know, I think I might keep this entire part here open. So, so far we've got that. Obviously it might change. Actually, I should probably put another bathroom in here. <laughs> this is going to get big. Okay. We're going multiple bedrooms, multiple bathrooms. I feel like I should move this back 
back a little bit. So I'm gonna bring my stairs over just so I have enough room for that hallway there. We could do a bedroom there with maybe a bathroom right here. And then I'm gonna try and make a hallway so that all my bedrooms are like over here. This could be the twins rooms. I wanted to do a shared bedroom with them because for twins, I feel like it's so cute, but maybe we could do like a combined room like that. We'll do like an archway in between, but they each have their own bed and everything. And then here we can bring up a little bit. I could do maybe like a bedroom back here with a built-in bathroom and a walk-in closet. I don't know. We'll see as we go. Obviously subject to change, but I feel like that looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to put all my lighting on here and then we're going to start off with the main floor. Okay. So I like to start off when I'm doing a really expensive build with the rooms that are going to cost the most money. So let's start off with the kitchen. I think it's finally time for us to splurge on our appliances. We've been playing it safe a lot here because I've been honestly kind of scared of spending too much money up until this point. So let's first get some flooring in here. And like I said, we are going to go more modern than we have before. I definitely still want to keep that like planty feel that we've been going for. Maybe a little bit of industrial, but like I kind of said, this is sort of going to be a midlife crisis moment for our couple. They're feeling the pressure. They're feeling the competition. So if this looks a little bit different than what we're used to, that's good. Okay, here we go. All these really expensive appliances, $14,000 fridge. I think I might bring in some like nice sleek looking spotty counters. We can wrap these around. See, I don't know what it is with me and this stuff. I don't like it. I don't know why. I know it's like the most expensive, but I much prefer my like pastel looking fridges and ovens. Like the older style is my preference, but we need to throw that out the window completely today. We are not even thinking about it. On the bright side, we've already spent a hundred thousand simoleons. So we're going somewhere, right? Let's get some chairs here. I feel like an island is a perfect opportunity to put a laptop. And actually while we're doing this, I can tell you a little bit more about our Sims, our twins that are new to this story. So basically, like I said, we've got our two twins. We have Violet and Ash. And for the most part, they really get along. They hang out. They play together all the time. Both of them are very family oriented, but just because they're close doesn't mean they're not different. So Ash, he loves going outside. He's a lot like Theo. He loves nature. He loves animals. Very down to earth, but he also loves reading and playing video games. Whereas Violet, she is a little bit more serious. She does enjoy hanging out with her brother and spending time with her family, but she's kind of more of like a no BS kind of kid. She's smart. She's always doing well in school, but she's the kind of kid that's going to be like out there hustling on the playground, selling like Pokemon cards or I don't know, whatever the heck kids are selling nowadays. What? So both very loving, but yeah, definitely Violet is a little bit more on the reserved serious side of things. Let's add some curtains in here. I'm using these ones from my wedding stories. And throughout this entire build, we're going to see little elements here and there of each family member kind of coming into play. And I think it's going to be really fun to see the kids evolve. I want to eventually build them each a house, which is definitely going to have to be at the more expensive neighborhood. So I'm wondering what they're going to end up doing for work. I think what I'm going to do here in this house, my strategy is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be laying things out without clutter or decor or anything. And then we're going to come back and sort of add that in. So I want to pivot a little bit. I'm going to come over here and do my living room, which I just added this wall here. Obviously, I'm not going to want to put my TV in front of like these big windows here. So I'm going to put my TV and fireplace here. We're going to go with this $10,000 TV here. I want to do maybe a snowy escape fireplace. And for my couch in the basement of one of my builds, I did, I used this couch here. So I'm going to put that and then we can do the matching chair from Get Famous. We can pull it together with a nice big rug here, like maybe this one from Moschino. And then yeah, on the back, this is where we're going to put our bookshelves. I actually love this one. If there's a black swatch, that would be great. But I think I'm going to do two. So we'll put one here, one here. Oh, that's looking nice already. See, I part of me wants to do this like minimalistic build, but I can't today because how pretty would this look just like super sleek and minimalistic? I see it. I do see it. Not today. There's going to be so much clutter in here. We're going to do industrial coffee table in there. I'm not opposed to bringing in some dark brown as well, but not too much. I want it to be very black and white. And then obviously when we bring in like our plants and everything, it's going to be more green, but we can brighten it up with that there. And then for the middle, I'm concerned about this area right here because how it's going right now is like a big empty space. I'm going to put, I think like a circle rug and a piano because there's one that I think could look really pretty with this, with this home. And it's this one here from my wedding stories, 3000 simoleons or 3,600. But look how beautiful that is. It has those pretty details there. If this family is going to 
have a piano, this is the one they're gonna have. So in terms of layout, I think the spacing for the right wing is looking pretty good. We're gonna turn around and do a playroom over here. So I'm gonna get an archway. I really wanted to have like a separate area for the kids to play, watch TV, hang out. We did say they like to play together a lot. So I'm gonna be putting my TV in here. I also wanna have a desk area for like homework or something. So maybe we could put that there. And I also feel like it could be an appropriate time to start splurging on the computers too, because we were saying that Ash, our son loves playing video games. So we could get him like a really nice computer. Maybe we can put a few in this build. We can get a bookshelf over on this side, which I'm gonna clutter up with toys. Ooh, let's use this one here from City Living. We can get some cute chairs. I love these little bear chairs. Like I sort of low key want one. Like me just playing Fortnite every night on my little like bear chair. I'm so down. Oh, speaking of getting new furniture, I am planning on moving soon, hopefully. We're looking for a new place to move into. It is so hard, friends. If you're out there trying to find a freaking house or anywhere, honestly, to move in, it is so difficult. My heart goes out to you. I feel like we have been trying for months to find somewhere new to go. I really just want a yard for my dogs. You guys hear me say it all the freaking time, but we are really in the process of like looking and hunting. So I'll keep you guys posted if there's any changes. And I feel like if it does happen, it's going to happen fast too. So um, I'll let you guys know about that. Maybe we'll have a new office background in the near future. Hopefully. Let's grab that video game console that we were talking about. Definitely need something for the kids to play there. I did say both of the kids love animals. So I want to bring in some like big animal toys, the plushies. I think they might also like collect animals too. That sounds bad, but like collecting frogs, maybe fish. We could get a fish bowl in here or two. I could put one over there. Ooh, I think it could also be fun to do like a foresty vibe in here with like these big trees. These are from Dine Out and they're meant to be like restaurant decor, but I kind of like using them in my kids' room sometimes. Like just the way that goes over the window a little bit like that. I think that looks cool. Okay, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. We still have some more rooms to lay out here in this huge freaking mansion that we're building. So I do want to add a bar, but I don't want to do like a formal one at like downstairs or anything. I really think I'm going to keep the basement for crafting we could do like a creativity room down there and any new skills that we're gonna bring in I think I'm gonna put downstairs but here we're gonna keep with the theme of mixology Theo loves to tend the bar so I think I'm gonna bring in maybe just like a small one in this corner like right there we could have the bar I could put something up in the background maybe some like mirrors or something to open it up like those could look pretty there and then the pianos in the background get like a rug and some fancy chairs I'm gonna use these ones from uh, luxury party stuff and then for my bathrooms on Honestly, we're going all in at this point. I'm going in with a $12,000 bathtub. Anywhere that I can fit it, honestly, like these are pretty big bathrooms that I've been adding. Maybe not this one. This one we could do a shower, but I'm gonna be using like this one here from Get Famous. It's also time to bring out the toilets, like the golden toilets, except I don't think I'm gonna use the gold. I'm gonna try and keep it as low key as I possibly can with the 5,000 simoleon throne. And each bathroom is gonna get one of these. It's either gonna be like the black, Black and white or that like blue one that I added. This one we even have room for another shower and I'm definitely gonna be even using like the, the expensive sinks from Get Famous. We are all in with this. <laughs> okay, so this is our layout. This is not gonna cut it though. I'm gonna go in and add the clutter and then I think we're gonna go floor by floor for a walkthrough because it's gonna get a lot. We're gonna get overwhelmed here if I don't do it this way. So let me clutter and I'll be right back. One hour later. Okay, the main floor is complete. I'm gonna go into live mode and have our sims walk through so we can do a little walkthrough for you. Everybody come in, but don't touch anything or do anything. <laughs> and it's not done yet, but welcome. Okay, so you walk in the main room. We have our living room over to this side, our couch. We've got some really expensive decor going on. Our fireplace with our plants. I did not forget about our little doggy. So we've got doggy beds in a lot of rooms, honestly. Thank God they like it. Just do not go upstairs or down. Over to this side, we have some really expensive things, our footless nights. Our dining room looking very cute. I got the chalkboard bringing in the greenhouse cafe vibes, some really expensive plants going on over there. All our clutter to this side. I feel like we still have maybe a little bit of an industrial feel in this kitchen. We have some more expensive stuff going on over here. We've got our wine on the wall and then we come out this way. I love it when a house is nice and open like this and I can just freely like go around and like show you things. This is our bar area. We've got some plant decor as well, bringing together the whole planty feel. And this is what our kids room turned
turned out like we've got some electronics going on on here, a frog, like I said, I wanted to have some homework and stuff going on over on this side, whatever that is from Snowy Escape. More fish bowls, more things for the kids to do, more toys going on around here. And our bathrooms turned out pretty cute too. Like we've got all this expensive stuff going on in here. We've got the bathtub, the shower, this one over here, same sort of thing. So we are ready to go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. Violet just became friends with Alf. Wait, oh, Violet. Oh my God, stop the puppies. I can't. Oh. Okay, let's go up. I did also do these bathrooms over here already. We got a double sink in this one. We've got, again, just like the same sort of stuff going on. I did this one here too. I figured I would just kind of like skip ahead and skip these because they all look the same. I think we need to start out with the kids' bedroom. So over here, I used this crazy wallpaper from the Decor to the Max kit. I never know when I should use this, but I thought it would be kind of fun if the kids had more of like an elaborate and eclectic style. So that's what we're going to go with for them. So I actually think that our kids are going to end up being very spoiled because they're born into money. Their beds are 8,000 simoleons each. I mean, they're going to have computers in each room. They're going to have everything. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they grow up and how their houses are going to look in the future. When we look at Anna and Theo, they came from nothing really. Like Theo had been working at the rest restaurant, but he was by no means well off growing up, but these kids are going to have it all. Let's get this green desk here from Paranormal. Ooh, I've been dying to put some color into this build and this is my only opportunity, so I am really going to run with it. <laughs> You've been warned. I'm keeping them sort of similar, but with like slight differences here and there. We're going to have Ash's room over to the left and Violet over to the right. Violet's going to be using her computer to like hack the mainframe, while as Ash is going to be over here literally just like playing this Actually, a lot of you guys in the comments have been saying that like building a vet office could be kind of fun. So I can see Violet or honestly Ash becoming a vet. But Violet, I see more in like politics or like business. She could very well take over the greenhouse cafe that her parents own and then some. I'm going to change the lighting in both of these rooms. I want it to look a little bit more like cozy. And I also need to rotate and do our toy boxes and more toys because they are still kids. I have to give them that. I love these toy trunks. I think I'm going to add some of those. I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys saw the little campers kit that was announced. There was another one, like a night out cast kit or something, but I am so excited for those to come out. I wish honestly that the little campers kit was coming with more stuff. Like I could honestly take an entire kids pack for like kids room DIY stuff. The entire style of that pack is very DIY, sort of rustic looking. So honestly, I could take an entire pack of like kids room stuff for that. I think we're well overdue for some like new kids stuff. So I don't know. I'm excited to see it. I will definitely be getting that little campers kit for sure. I'm going to put a doggy bed in here. Maybe the dog likes to sleep in Violet's room with her. And then we can put some little toys in the bed. I love like getting the little toys and just like sticking them in there. So I'm going to move on from the kids rooms for now. Then we're going to come back and I'll show you once I've cluttered it up. But we are going to do these bedrooms next. We're going to go hard. We're going to go with the 15,000 simoleon bed for the this bedroom here and then this one I feel like this one is going to be the guest bedroom even though it's bigger it doesn't have the bathroom or the walk-in closet this could even be for like a maid if we ever hired a maid or a nanny or something and then this one will be Anna and Theo's room and I do want to bring in like that planty aspect still like what if I put these over top I can raise them up and just put them over top of the bed and I feel like that's gonna make it look maybe a little more like their bed we can do a desk over here they can have a computer in their room as well. Up until this point, I would assume that maybe their business has been like word of mouth. It's been like a community kind of thing. But now that we have that big market next door, we got to go big. We got to use the internet. Okay. The walk-in closet is going to have like some big mirrors on this wall. We could even do like a small couch right there. Obviously some hanging clothes. I can put those in the corner. I'll make room for a plant over there. And then on the other side, I'm thinking I could do just like a counter here or like an end table with maybe some like folded clothes on top or cottage living has that cute little basket like this one I'm gonna do a black and white version of that we can raise that up maybe get like a cute painting in the corner here and then for this one over on this side I want to keep this one pretty basic like we can do just like a dresser we can do a stand-up mirror pretty much just like guest bedroom essentials you know not really personalized but it's still gonna be nice we can also get a computer maybe in the future we can bring in like a butler or something I love building like the butler suites for some reason we can do our computer again, a plant, nice co 
cozy fluffy rug and see our price has been dropping. This is what I kind of mean about like getting all these essentials out of the way. It helps me feel more confident that I can actually do this. I will say I'm very nervous about the million dollar one and then in the future for the multi-million dollar ones that we're going to be building. Maybe we can put a nice big bookshelf in here. Cats and dogs is kind of coming in a lot in this room. Ooh, maybe our butler is from like Brindleton Bay or something. Or our nanny. I feel like a nanny could be kind of like a fun alternative. Because when you think about it, Anna and Theo are going to be busy. They're going to be making their money. They're going to be working like every day to compete with this new rival. Like, I don't know if they're going to be around too much for our kids. So a nanny could definitely be a, a fun element to bring into this. And the nanny can be like super like extravagant. Oh my God, I need to make a nanny later. Okay, so for the most part, we've got all our essentials up here. Everything is in place where I want it to be. Before I go in and heavy clutter and do our walkthrough for the top floor, the final thing that I do want to add up here is a frog quarter, okay? I said that we were really into animals and collecting things, collecting frogs. Maybe, maybe Ash has a little bit of that like collecting aspect because of our rags to riches beginnings. In the beginning, Anna was doing a lot of collecting, but I want to put all these like frogs right here. And then later when we end up building a house, it's just going to be like full of frogs. I'm very ready for it. All right, everybody come upstairs, please. The showing is about to begin. So up the stairs, we have this beautiful hallway. Yes, we love it. We've got a seating area right here with some expensive decor. We've got a fish tank, this big, beautiful fish tank from Spa Day. We've got some laundry over here. I added this really cool element with some spandrels and columns above. So our ceiling looks pretty cool like that with our hallway. Down here, we've got some frogs. This is our froggy corner with our beloved golden frogs worth 10,000 simoleons. I added a cute bookshelf area down here where there's, it's just kind of like a reading area Area that I added down here with a vacuum. We already have some dust bunnies. This is how our bedroom turned out. This is our main upstairs bedroom with our really expensive bed, our bathroom attached over to this side. And we also have our walk-in closet complete with the laundry hampers. I added some more decor in here, making it look super cute. Our kids room, look how cute this is. Oh, she kissed the dog. Okay, she really loves that dog like a lot. But um, this is our kids bedroom number one. Very colorful, very bright. All our toys over on this side. We've got the defender light keeping those nightmares away. I replaced this with a door just for a little bit of privacy if they get older and they don't want to be hanging out together 24-7. <laughs> we have Ash here playing some video games. I love how their feet don't touch the floor. This bedroom looking super cute again with our toy boxes, our dollhouse. I added a little bit of book decor. We're kind of like a bookworm here in this room. And our guest room is honestly looking so nice. It totally does feel like a guest room though like with the decor and everything that's in here, the computer, the all white kind of like stuff in here. I don't know, very much like questionable nanny vibes. We have one more floor to go. We've got to do the basement. I have 127K left. We can do this. Okay, so down here, I honestly haven't really added much yet, but this is where we're going to have a lot of the hobbies. So we're going to do a full crafting area downstairs. I tried to make this look a little bit more like their original aesthetics with like the planty wallpaper, the rustic looking like paneling and brick on the wall. So downstairs is going to be very much similar to the aesthetic that we've had. But I do want to bring in something a little bit different. I'm planning on doing like maybe a movie theater downstairs or more of a formal bar. I don't really know yet. Let's see how much money we can get rid of by doing the crafting room. I think we're going to lead into another crafting room with an archway there. So this one could have, I've been thinking about bringing in candle making, keeping it kind of similar to like the skills that we've had already, the juice making, which I think we're going to ditch. Candle making could be something kind of new and fun. And I don't see Miss Willow Vine over there selling candles yet. <laughs> so let's do that. And then I was thinking we could maybe even bring in floral arranging. Throughout our whole kind of journey here, Anna has been a gardener. So I feel like floral arranging, she's probably already pretty good at that, or at least has like a basis to go off. And then obviously we need to bring in our barrels. This neighborhood is called Barrel Wood after all. So let's bring in a few. Obviously, we're going to do like a couple here, a couple there. I want to put up some shelving so that I can put up like tons of candles. This basement is going to be one big old fire hazard, but it's fine. So if we go into debug eco lifestyle, we have a whole bunch of different candles. I want to see, are they worth anything? Oh yeah, these are worth 75. So I'm going to put all of these on display. I find these ones a little bit weird. They're supposed to be like mood candles, but they're not actually lit. So that's kind of good. So we'll fill up this whole shelf here with that. 
And then I also want to bring in some of the Birds of Paradise flower arrangements because I remember when I was building the market next door, I found those and I know that they're really expensive. So we can be working on these here, trying to keep up with our next door competitor. I was also thinking another fun kind of idea could be woodworking. We know that our family here is very like crafty. They love making things. So all of this is sort of not outside of the realm of possibility, I think. So we could do like woodworking here. I could put like another table with like other projects. I kind of want to get like a kid's crafting table because it would be fun if they could come downstairs and kind of like do work together. So we'll do a little crafting table maybe in the corner here. And then over here, I honestly haven't gone heavy on the crafting rooms yet. Like I haven't really put these anywhere yet. So I'm going to put those under the stairs. These here are so expensive. 3000 simoleons for those canvases. I'm going to put a couple back there. I think I might also put a couple like behind the easel here. We can put some there. I also want to find the other ones, obviously, like the eco lifestyle ones. And these are really cute too. We can hang these up. I think it would be really cute if I did like cross stitching somewhere. Maybe as Anna gets like older in life, she could go into like knitting and cross stitching. So let's put that over here. I'm going to get a really comfy, cozy chair. And then I think I actually might for the first time in this entire series, go on to the gallery and download some custom art for down here. And also some of the cross stitch, like, I don't know what they're called, wall displays. <laughs> I'm going to go download some complete versions of that. And I think also down here, I've been kind of sneaky with where I've been putting my paintings upstairs, but I think I can get away with putting some of the more pricey ones down here. If we're going to be competing with next door, we got to put out some high quality stuff. Oh, I still have a bathroom over here that I haven't done. Oh my God, ka -ching. I can get a pricey toilet. I can see the light, you guys. I can see the light. I know it doesn't feel like it, but it has been hours, hours of me building this. This one's only going to have a shower down here. So I'm just going to bring in our Get Famous shower. Of course, our sink again, our expensive mirror, and we are left with 80K. So before I clutter this up again, I think we're going to do the final room, which I'm going back and forth. I'm thinking about doing like a family movie theater, maybe. They could come down here, spend time together, and like I could put popcorn makers in here. We can make it really cute. Let's go get some chairs. These are 3,000 simoleons each. We're doing it. We're doing it. Nothing screams midlife crisis like putting an entire movie theater in your house. That brings us down to 40. I can go in and get some counters along the sides. I might honestly like bring them all the way up the side like this and I can put popcorn makers. We could put like a mini fridge. Like I might replace this here and put a mini fridge here. We could do a microwave, maybe even like a coffee maker in here. Cause why not? I definitely want it to be dimmer in here. So I'm going to delete these lights. We can replace them with maybe like these ones. We can put these at the front. I love how these look. I don't know what it is with me in these lights. We could do fairy lights in here, which surprisingly I haven't brought into this entire build. Another issue with like doing these really expensive builds is you kind of run out of like things that you haven't used already. Like finding paintings that are unique that I have not put anywhere else in this build is really difficult when I'm trying to spend a lot of money. Ooh, let's put the microwave right on top of there and maybe some like rugs down the center, like the fitness stuff, like hallway rugs maybe. We can just put a couple of them like right in here. Okay, 34K left. What else can I put in this freaking thing? Storage trunks. These are 5K each. We could make this area a little bit more cute with like a jungle adventure mirror hanging on the wall or something. A little rug pulling this area together. We could add a little bit more to this wall here. I feel like this area is going to be very cluttered in general. Maybe we get another pricey picture up here. I could put some like shelving up. 15K, let's go. I'm going to add a knitting bag. I want to bring that in as well. So we've got the knitting, we've got the cross stitching. I'm using these tarps here from Outdoor Retreat. These like sneaky little clocks are worth a thousand each. So I'm going to put one in both rooms. <laughs> Ooh, 1200 for this. I could put this in here. We're doing woodworking. We might need some tools. Ooh, 11, come on. Okay, this is 1600. I want to do some hanging plants and I still want to download that cross stitch stuff. So maybe I'll do that first. I'm going to download a little bit of custom art here from Holy Shimo Wow. I was a little skeptical of doing this because the pricing can get a little weird, but I'm I'm just going to do it for the basement. And then on the gallery, I'm going to look up cross stitching or cross stitch. And when you do that, you get these little pop 
up and they're all the cross stitches that are complete. So I think I'm gonna download this one from Janta Torno on the gallery. Okay, so with the clutter, look at this wall. I have so much going on. There's the cross stitching all over, some paintings that I downloaded, lots of clutter. It's looking so cute. I also added shelving with a little bit more clutter, like some kids' pencils and stuff. Some of this stuff here ate up like a decent amount of money, like the notebook, 375. I got this thing. I also added some more like knitting things over here, maybe some like started projects for like woodworking, more storage, and I added a little bit more to our movie rooms, which I still need to eat up 4,800 simoleons. So let's add maybe some like speakers. These are 820. We could say these are like surround sound, like the back movie theater sound. I could also put one maybe like right here in this room. I do have room for another barrel. I do. I added a little more clutter in this room, but I've got uh, a barrel to spare. Barrel. Maybe I'll just add more speakers upstairs. I don't know. Like maybe we can put one in the kids' room here. They could use a speaker. And 289 left. Let's maybe put like, I don't know, a plant or something. I feel like the last item we always add is a plant. Oh, 285. This is perfect. Let's raise this up. And there we go, friends. Our final item in our 750,000 simoleon family home build in The Sims 4. This has been such a wild ride. You guys, we need to figure out where we're gonna go from here. We're jumping right from 750k up to the million simoleon house and I want to know who you want me to build it for. We could either do this family which we've been building for the entire time. We could build one for Willow or wait until later to do that or we could do Theo's parents or someone new. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. This is going to be on the gallery under Sydney Macarota and if you're enjoying this series make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.